Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, didn't want the Arabs to feel themselves superior to non-Arabs simply because the final revelation of God was in your hands. So he said there's no superiority of the Arabs over the non-Arabs. And there is no superiority of the white over the black. And then the prophet said these words that he heard the footsteps of Bilal going into paradise ahead of his own. Nobody's footsteps would go into paradise ahead of the prophet. It had a deeper significance. Bilal was an Ethiopian African black man. His voice was clear like a bell. And it was he, Bilal, who already knew that God was one. And when he heard that there was a man preaching the oneness of God, he came to be his aid. And he is the one that used the human voice to call the faithful to the worship of the one God. The Christians used the bell. The Jews used the ram horn. But Bilal, Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar. The human voice. And whenever he made that call, everyone stood at attention because they knew it was time for the worship of the one God. Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, knew that the Arabs would lose their preeminent position in the world because they will have deviated from the path of God. But in the last day, the people of the land will have been lost in the West and the light of Islam would come up out of the West in the latter day and the voice of the land would come up out of a dead nation and a dead people would rise up not making a call Allahu Akbar Allahu Akbar no 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 not that kind of call but when we rise up in the most powerful government and declare the oneness of God and the end of America's power that would prove that Allah is the greatest And it means that out of the West would come a sound that would call the Arab world back to the path of God. And out of America would come a sound that would call the whole earth back to the worship of God. 